How's everybody doing? I am jumping on in an unusual time and an unusual day, but I started cleaning out my cabinets and I thought, my pantry, and I thought, I'm going to make something and I'm going to show them what I'm going to do and how to take your um, things that's just not a lot of anything left and what you can do with them. So when you jump on here, tell me who you are, where you're from, what's going on in your world. And let me move this back just a little. I'm going to do this really quick and then I'm going to talk to you a little bit. But I want to put this in the oven and let's see if we can put it in the oven and get it done before our time is up. So what I did, again, Christmas is over, Valentine's is over. I've got, I had all these chocolate morsels, butterscotch morsels, pecans, coconut, leftover, and I wrote that on there. Hello, Chris. And I wrote that on there, and uh, it came up with this cookie, and I'm sure y'all have made it before. It's a seven-layer cookie. So if you have leftovers, just a cup of this and a cup of that, uh, do this cookie tonight. And one of them, uh, I had just, I don't know if y'all bought this before, but the cinnamon uh, chips, and I mixed it with my butterscotch. I think that's going to be delicious on this cookie. But here we go. And I promise you the recipes will be on there tomorrow. And the other recipes will be on there too. But we're going to talk about that in a minute. Hello, Miss Carla. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Paula. Hello, Renetta from Arkansas. Thank you so much. And there is my sweet manager and my love, Phyllis. Hi. All right. What I did was a stick of butter and I melted it with about a pack and a half of graham crackers. And y'all have all done this before. And I've made my crust. How easy is that? first layer second layer leftover chocolate chips that I, I, they've been just sitting there waiting for something to do so i am going to actually it says put coconut first now here's the deal with my coconut and i know you can't tell it from there but my coconut's dry but i'm going to use it anyway because i don't know if it's going to make a difference or not but it was coconut i had from christmas did not use it all and it's a little dry. I looked up on Google how to, so if you know how to moisten your coconut again, let me know. But anyway, graham cracker with a stick of butter, coconut. Can you see that? Now, someone else told me, sometimes you can't see my videos. If you want to swipe the comments, you can see um, down at the bottom of your screen and then you can look at the comments later. Again, tell me uh, where you're from, what's going on in your world. I'm talking too fast, but I want to get this in the oven. Also, push that share button right now. Push that share button. Let's get some more people on here. All right. We've got a layer of coconut. Now, instead of throwing that away, now I've got to use it. Uh, chocolate chips. And I will be bringing this to work tomorrow, Phyllis, so you can try some. Get off that diet for just a minute. Now, my next layer is butterscotch and the little cinnamon. And I've just kind of mixed that. That's all I had left of both of them that made a cup, so here I go. Thank you, Crystal, for sharing right now. Any of y'all have some leftovers in your refrigerator or in your pantry? Don't throw it away. Google your ingredients. And something will come up. Go to Pinterest and write some of your ingredients that you have. I don't like to throw anything away. Now, my husband, after it's been used one time, one meal, he wants it out. I am not like that. I'm going to tell you, that looks good. How's that looking? Has any of you ever made this? I think it's called Seven Bar, but if I, I would call it Clinging Out My Cupboard Cookies. Clinging Out My Cupboard Cookies, because that's exactly what I did. Uh, chopped pecans. Paula, if you want one of these, and I hope you're feeling better, um, come to the restaurant tomorrow. Are you, Paula, if you're on there, are you feeling better? I know we've put y'all, uh, some of you that's had that flu and strep in our prayer groups. All right. Now, does that make you want to slap the old mammy? <laughs> Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour um, sweet condensed milk on the top of it. So I'm going to open this can. Right. Ooey gooey. That was the crazy. 
creative energy in me. Instead of going straight lines, that probably drove some of you crazy. <laughs> I am one of those, uh, I have some OCD people. Now theirs would have looked perfect on this right here. But the people that know me, I have that little creative niche and uh, unorganized deal. Now, that's in most of the area. I'm going to put that in the oven, and then I'm going to talk to you. And I've got something to show you that's new at Occasions and Five Chefs. And I think it's exciting. It's cute. It's for, uh, I love it, so I would say it's for all ages. But let me put this in the oven. And what is this called? Crystal uh, Seven Layer Cookie. Uh, magic bars. I've heard it called a lot of different things. And here's the deal with this. Let me put it in the oven. You put it in the oven. I'm actually going to see it. You put it in the oven for three uh, at 350 for uh, 20 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven. And if you look behind me, my husband, my sweet, sweet husband, he made chili this afternoon uh, for supper, and I thought that was so sweet. And yesterday he made pork chops. I don't know what's going on, but I'm liking it. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Did any of you make the lunch lady brownies? Lunch Lady Brownies. There's Paula. Paula is not creative, but I am unorganized too. Okay. Um, did any of you make the Lunch Lady Brownies? Taylor promises me she'll put the recipe on there tonight. Also, you've got my chicken pasta with the um, ranch dressing and the Alfredo sauce. It was delicious. Delicious. Now, I'm going to show you something new. And eggs. Eat GG exciting. Hello from Westmoreland. Um, I got this at market. This guy was demonstrating this, and I just stood there for 10 minutes watching it, and then I had to order them. So I don't know how many. I think we may have 24 of these at the shop, and now 23 because I brought one home. I think. And you're going to ask me how much they are, and I'm going to say I don't know because I don't. But I can let you know if you're interested. This is called Egg. Amazing, egg amazing. How many of you, when you were a kid, your mama used to uh, blow, put the two pins in the top and the bottom of the egg and actually have to blow all that yolk out? That's the way we did it. Um, and, and, and that's okay. Some people still like to do that and the kids like to do that. But mine always, I always cracked my egg before I got to even think about painting it. Well, some man, and it was a man, some man came up with this idea of go ahead and make your egg hard, hard a hard boiled egg, and you put it in this little machine right here. I'm going to call it a machine. And guys, this is for all ages, uh, even your youngest of young, because now the egg is not going to crack. It's not going to do anything. Can you see it? I think you can see it. I'll hold it up in a minute, but this is the machine. You turn it on, and when you turn it on, the egg starts going around just really quick. Now, this is the exciting part, and I haven't done this, so I, I am sharing my first egg amazing with you. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but it can't be too bad. So, you, it comes with eight markers, and I would assume, I haven't read everything yet, if these, it's not special markers, I'm sure they're just permanent markers. So once these dry up or you're, you're through with them, your machines should still keep working. And hi, Carol Lee. And then um, you've got your markers. So I'm going to, I'm going to decide how I want to do this. I'm a pink girl for sure. So I'm going to start out with pink. And y'all keep your fingers crossed that I can show you how to use this without making too big of a mess. And I do know that you just hold your marker here, and let's see what happens. Did 
y'all see that? Okay. I'm pumped. Look at that. Can you see? All right, let's keep going. just made me happy. Let's pick this little, look at that. Now, I'm serious. Is that not a great invention? I love it. I love, love, love this. I will have uh, Taylor or um, Jennifer tag that where you can buy this if you don't live close. And guys, you probably can find it somewhere else also. I'm one of these. If you can find it somewhere else and you don't have to pay the shipping, do it. Uh, but if you live close enough to Portland, Tennessee, uh, come get one. I think, like I said, I think I bought 24 of them. Now, let's see if they can do something besides the stripes. And I don't know if they can or not. But now you know it works. It truly, truly works. And can't you see that? I mean, that would be so cute in a basket and even in an egg carton and showing but what's going to be really cute is when you let your kids and your grandkids, or adults, I love that. I loved doing that. So anybody, any age. Now, I will try this probably with my four-year-old and see what he comes up with. Because uh, the only really thing you have to do is, is put the marker on there. But let's see what happens when you can get, really want to get really creative. I think this was, somebody told me this was on Shark Tank. Good for that person. I got to meet the inventor at Market, and uh, the girl that was with me, she was like, Mama J, I'm not sure about that. And I was like, I love it. I just love it. So it's in our store, and congratulations to this inventor. I love things that, that kids can participate in, too. I'm wondering what will happen if I go across, I don't know. I'll probably make a mess with this, but I'm gonna try. That's not too bad, is it? Let's try another color. Don't you think that's a party? <laughs> Every 
everybody bring a hard-boiled egg and, and make an egg to take home. Okay. Let me tell you again. I'm glad y'all were jumping on here. Please, please, please share this video. Uh, the cookies are not going to be done. So what I'm going to do after this video is I will take a picture of them and put them on there. And I'm going to take them to work tomorrow. But don't throw anything away. If you've got, as you saw, all I had to go buy at the store was the sweet condensed milk. All the other stuff was just enough of it that either I had to throw it away, and I'm so glad I came up with finding this recipe because I got to use something again, and I think it's going to be good. So don't throw away stuff. Now, the last thing I'm... I just love this egg. Look at this. Now... Can you not just see these in baskets? I, I'm, I, I'm speechless and how fun it was. Okay, I got one more thing. Y'all love contests and I love having them. So we're going to give away another t-shirt. The last time I did this, one of the ladies guest, I think her name was Scotty from Franklin, Kentucky. She guessed straight on the number. So I'm, I have to go right over here and get this, but it's, it's a lot. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a hint. It's a lot. Uh, you guess, whoever guesses first. Do not guess on this page. I'm going to take a picture of it and make a, uh, so guess under the page when you see it. I'll put it on just as soon as I get off of here. Guess on that page because then I don't have to go back and forth. So guess on the page where the bunny rabbit is. Let me get it. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Margie. Thank y'all for sharing. Thanks for the love. Hold on just a minute. Okay. Don't guess on this page. But this is going to be our contest, and I've given you a hint. There's a lot of them. Hi, Priscilla. A lot, lot of them. So we will give you a t-shirt with your initials on it. Don't guess on this page. Uh, let me give you two dates. Uh, March 16th and 17th. Occasions, is ha Occasions Five Chefs and all the shops at Occasions are having their spring fling. We are going to have sales galore, people. So if you live even two hours away, it'll be worth your drive. We will have a special at the restaurant. There's specials in all the stores. You get to have a, a little piece of paper, and you go visit all four stores. You get a sticker. Put that in a drawing. You don't have to per uh, purchase anything for a $100 gift certificate drawn out of that. Uh... It just goes on and on, the fun that we're going to have. I know that we're going to have a special salad and frozen dessert for our special at Five Chefs. I know that the new stuff is gorgeous coming in. I know Occasions 2 looks fabulous. If you are my farmhouse girl, that's the place you need to be. The flower shop, thank you all so much for all your encouraging words. Uh, Valentine's did great. And I am your southern hostess in Portland, Tennessee. Thanks for the love. Keep watching. I've got two photos to show you. One's going to be of the cookies. One's going to be of the contest. Share, share, share. Love all of you. Blessings. Bye.